championship. Uh, Shane's coming off a win in his most recent start at the Zurich Classic of New Orleans where he paired with Rory McIlroy. Shane, uh, what were the emotions uh, coming off of that win and uh, what are you most looking forward to about this week? Um, yeah, I mean, there was a lot of... Obviously, I was very happy with the win. Uh, not relief, but, um, you know, 400 FedEx Cup points is very welcome at this, this stage of the season. And... Uh, you know, moved up nicely in the FedEx Cup rankings, which is really nice. And you know, we had a great week and we enjoyed it. And uh, it was lovely to get a win. It's it's been a while since I've won over here, so it was it was nice. And uh, you know, we enjoyed it. And uh, th as far as this week goes, I'm here. You know, I don't have a great record here. I haven't particularly played well here on this golf course, but um, you know, I had that with Bay Hill this year as well, and I did pretty good that week. So I'm trying to be as positive as I can. Um, is it working? We're good. Okay. Trying to be as positive as I can, and, and uh, yeah, um, hopefully I can have a good week again. You've mentioned those FedEx Cup points uh, when you were at TPC Louisiana, and, and now what what do those points do for you in terms of your goals uh, the rest of the season? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously you start off every season with Tour Championship as your one of your goals, um, and you know that's obviously well in my sights now. Um, so that's that's obviously a big goal for me. I've I've never played in Atlanta. I've finished thirty first a couple of times. So, um, you know, to go, get there and get there in a good position would be nice. Um, so it's just kind of you know, it just it's just a really good building block for the rest of the summer. I think, you know, even though we're only in just beginning of May, it you know, the PGA Tour season is is you know it's already half over. You know, there's only half a season left. So it's. Uh, you know, it comes around thick and fast, and these big tournaments come around thick and fast. So, you know, as well as that, as I, I wasn't going to be in this week. Um, you know, I had been informed I wasn't going to be getting an invite. So, uh, it got me in this week. It gets me in Memorial. It gets me in uh, Travelers. So, uh, yeah, I can plan my schedule pretty nicely, which for me was actually, it was becoming a bit of a headache because my family go back to Ireland for 10 weeks and I was going to have to stay out here for a little bit longer than I would have liked and been away from them for longer than I normally like. So, uh, yeah, it's it's allowed me to plan my summer a lot nicer. All right, we'll take some questions out here. If you have a question, we'll get a microphone to you. We'll start with Ron over there on the left. Shay, what does winning do for your confidence? I mean, you've been chasing it and obviously you had a pretty good partner with you too, but, I mean, to finally get really? the kind of res <laughs> to finally get the results, how much does it change the way you feel about your game yeah you know I, I feel like I've been pretty happy with how my season have been going um, I gave myself a few chances in Florida to to win I didn't quite win but I, I felt I was trending in the right direction and I felt like you know if I just kept doing what I was doing that I wouldn't be far away obviously um, you know to win the team event it was nice having Rory McIlroy as your partner and it makes things a little bit easier but um, yeah it was it's still very nice to get a win look winning I, you know, we always say in golf, winning takes care of everything, and it does. You know, it, it kind of it, it takes care of a lot of things. But you know, that's that's in the past now, and you just kind of move on now. And you've got big weeks coming up, like you know, obviously this week, next week's another major, um, and then before we know, we'll be at Memorial and U.S. Open, and uh, they just come really fast around this time of the year. And it's it's kind of a nice time of year to be playing your way into some decent form and and some confidence. Adam, in the middle. Hey, Shay. Heard the. Uh, is it going? Okay. Yeah, I you and Rory decided to enter the Zurich, and I'm curious. You know, did you make any other, you know, booked up plans after in the after party in uh, New Orleans, and uh, how was that celebration like in New Orleans after you won? Yeah, we actually. I actually. I had. I went home on the Sunday night. He had to go somewhere else on the Monday morning. So, um, yeah, I went home Sunday night. He went away for a couple of days. And we met up on Wednesday night. Yeah, we had a we had a pretty good night Wednesday night. We um, drank some nice stuff and had a good time, and we celebrated our win, which you know you, you should do. Um, uh, like I say, you know I've been on tour. I've been playing 16 years, <clears throat> and I've only won seven times. So uh, you know you got to celebrate the good times too. We'll go to MK behind Adam back there. Hey, and you had mentioned that Rory. Uh, made you believe in yourself down in New Orleans. Was there anything specific that he told you that made you click and actually think you could do it? No, uh, um, I can't remember saying that, but um, I, I think what was great for Rory and I that week was 
um, and this is how I think of it anyway. I've been, probably been a little bit hard on myself the pr few previous weeks, and obviously the few previous weeks didn't go well for him either. Um, and I feel like we played a golf with a lot more freedom that week. Um, and I feel like it's a lesson for the two of us for the rest of the season to go and play golf how we played that week in New Orleans. And I feel like if we can do that, we both can be dangerous in the big tournament. So um, I just think it's uh, the whole week of playing golf with a smile on your face, playing golf with a little bit of freedom, you know, goes a long way in this game. So I think we both learned a lot. Um, that's how I feel anyway. Go over here to Sean and then Ron again. You said you've been hard on yourself. What have you, had you been hard on yourself about? Just when you're not results, you know, I obviously I did well around Florida. Uh, you know, Honda are cognizant and Bay Hill. Uh, I had two really good weeks. Was in the final group all weeks. Um, but then you start to expect that from yourself week in, week out. Masters didn't go my way. Hilton Head didn't go my way. So I, you know, I was getting a little bit down on myself for my. Not down on myself, but you know, I knew my game and a lot of aspects of my game were very good. Um, but I just needed to tidy up some other things. And you know, when you're not shooting the scores you feel like you should be shooting, it's it becomes difficult. So yeah, I've just been hard on myself. You know, uh, the days were getting tougher and tougher. But yeah, uh, New Orleans sorted that out. First of all, how do you rate Roy as a singer? Uh, after the performance? he's a better golfer than he is singer. Anyway, uh, thankfully for him. <laughs> you, I guess you willfully set out the singing part. I, I sorry, what? You intentionally didn't join in. Yeah, the no, I couldn't believe he was doing it. To be honest, I was like, <laughs> I was just standing on the side, and yeah, he kind of got blindsided into doing it. So um, fair play to him. Uh, you said you don't have a great record here. Is it something about the golf course? Is just coincidence, or uh, something challenging that maybe doesn't fit your eye? Um. I don't know, to be honest, uh, because, you know, I hadn't got a great record at Bay Hill, but I always felt like Bay Hill is the type of course I should do well on. Um, you know, this is, obviously, this suits longer hitters. I'm not, like, I'm not short, but I'm not one of the longer guys. Um, and I just, yeah, I just feel like I need to not try to be one of the longer hitters this week. If you, you kind of get what I'm saying, a lot of holes out here, is that you stand on the tee and it makes you want to hit the ball hard off the tee. And I feel like if I can put the ball in play and hit the fairways, I can be dangerous because my iron play is my strength. And um, yeah, so if I can hit a lot of fairways this week, which is, that's my game plan. Um, you know, there's a lot of bunkers out there, like 300 yards that I can carry if I hit a really good one. But if I don't hit a good one, it's going to be in a, probably bad shape. So uh, I just need to, be wary of that and just play within myself this week. I feel like I've, I've not done that here in the past. And, you know, it's nice to come in here with four rounds before next week and you just try and play my way into the tournament and give myself a few chances. And, you know, you never know because, like I said, Bay Hill was a tournament who I, where I had a much better or much worse record than I do here and I uh, managed to play pretty well there. So um, hopefully I can do the same this week. Other questions for Shane? All right, I think that's all we got. Um, best of luck this week. Perfect, thank you. Thank you.